Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, so until it happens, I'm gonna give warnings, because I'm not sure what day it happens, but, uh, this game is obviously not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Um, this episode could possibly be disturbing. Um, I'm not gonna say when it, what is, what it is that I'm warning you about, because I'm not sure, but I feel like it's gonna be either this episode or the next episode where things get a little, um, crazy. Like, really, really crazy. Like, worse than it has been in the last few episodes, but, um, yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna dive right in to the game. But I feel like it's gonna be today. Okay. Hi, Horizon. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica! I told you not to- Ugh. Is she really late again? I consider it as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I mean, you kinda do. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did something. I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So, not to be. Nobody cares. Why don't you look for some coins under that vending machine or something? Under the, under the vending machines or something. <laughs> Why do you always make my girl cry, Yuri? Stop making her cry! Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Are we practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> You have a lot of determ- you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club, and still trying to make time for piano? Well, maybe not determination. But I guess passion. It, motiv it motivates me to work hard for the festival too. Anyway, Horizon, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could- we already have plans today. Ah. Uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Horizon is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've, gotten in, got, I've already gotten into, into literature, Monica? I was reading manga with Natsuki and then her freaking neck went like snap because of you, Yuri, because I read with you! I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Ooh, she went a little cuckoo there for a second. Okay. Where'd it go? I dropped it. I dropped something that's really important to me and I can't find it. And I'll find it after the recording, okay. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Yeah, guys, um, those sensitive to, uh, mental, mental health topics, please click off this episode. You might want to skip it, uh, as this episode is, um, it's not going to be very good at all. Like, at all. <laughs> Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading keep time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind with the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm gonna plug this in at the teacher's desk, then I'll go then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, she the way she moves really contrasts her speaking manner with me. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears, appears elegant and me me method. Me blah 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 blah. Okay, may I have a water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. I might ah, I might as well walk with you. Th that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. 
Teacher in hand, Yuri rushes. Her, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for the misunderstanding. Yeah, this this episode is gonna be very dark. So um, yeah. Again, people who can't um, who have sensitive topic, uh, sensitive. Who are just sensitive to mental health topics in general, you really may want to click off this video because it contains, um, not some very good stuff. Okay. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Yeah, guys, you might want to click off now. Let's see. Ooh. The music is fluffled now, like it's playing from inside there. I like that. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, you guys want to click off now. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale, like some someone is sucking air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Yeah. Oh, what the? What the? What the? I'm back! Thanks for waiting patiently. Horizon, do you like oolong tea? Ah, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. We reset the temperature of the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time for the tea- Now it's time to get the teapot. Oh! Yeah. See, guys who are still watching, you can see why I said click off. To, to some people who are sensitive. You can see why now. When I think this episode may be an episode that I've been waiting for for a bit now. Okay, but um, I don't, I don't know. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do it any. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> In that case, you'll be even more impressed. Uh, ah, perhaps I will. He refreshes the teapot and begins measuring the tea levels. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good you must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. Ah. Uh, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Horizon. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep, keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for, for each of us. Horizon, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh? Why's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Girl! Same! Like, my back is always hurting. So, like, at school, when I'm uh, working with partners and we're, we have optional seating, like, where you can sit anywhere, I always choose to sit, like, against the wall or something. Because my back always hurts and it's a lot nicer on my back. No worries. I seriously need to see a chiro chiropractor or something. Chir blah, 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 blah. Uh, but I'm a little traumatized after watching my mom uh, get her back fixed. I'm a little traumatized after that and I'm not really sure if I want to. But I might need it. I just have a back pain feeling, like, fairly, fairly regularly. So I do my best to manage it. Me too! Me too! That's why I'm not sitting on my chair right now. I'm stretching my back with my stomach on my chair. Is that so? I wonder why that is. Yes, it's most likely because my... Uh, my... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes. Yeah, that's why- that's why my back hurts, at least, is because my posture. I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wa wall, two cups in our outer sides. As if in the sink, we, we, we assume the same reading po position as last time we each each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. <laughs> Yuri slides, slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but 
She's being a less uh, apprehensive. It's more than I can handle. Your teacup. Your hands in my teacup. Holding it in my hands. Holding it in my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. <laughs> I mean, at least he's respectful. At least he's respectful. That's, that's what I look for in a man. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears in her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, uh, that's... that's okay. I won't take any. Eh? Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. Oh, I need to apologize. No, no need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so I don't have any harder time reading from it. But as a result, her, her left arm is, pra is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri's already to totally focused on reading again. Bro, that's so pretty! And look at the mini animation of like the dust particles and stuff! Dude! That is so cute! And Yuri... She's pretty like last episode. Why is she so pretty? Why did I never notice this before? Why did I never notice how pretty Yuri was? Dang it, Savannah! You need to notice when girls are pretty, even though you're straight. Because I'm just like that. But still. <laughs> it really is pretty with like the lighting and stuff. Hold on, I didn't read that. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate. I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that doesn't mean I can't stop here. I apprehensively put the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did, did I just... Yuri looks at me as if she want, looks at me as if she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um... Horizon. Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, uh, Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't... Horizon. Suddenly, Yuri... Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My tea, my teacup gets knocked over. Horizon. Whoa! My, my, my heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Horizon. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Horizon? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Please stop! I mean, at least it wasn't, again, it wasn't his will. It, she did it. Why is this happening to me? Wow, her heart is beating so heavily that it's shaking my entire body. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It makes me even, it makes me not, it even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Ah, I hate this. Uh, Yuri, please. Yuri, Yuri, Monica, Monica, <laughs> help me! <sighs> Yuri, Monica, help me! <sighs> Monica always seems to be able to help me. So, thank you, Monica. She heard my cries for help. Thank you so much, Monica. <laughs> oh, I wish there was a way to just like somehow thank her in the game, like. Just a way to like say thank you, cause seriously, I I want to I want to thank her so much right now. I really really want to. I am so grateful for Monica right now. She just saved me from a very 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 uncomfortable situation. <laughs> um, it's time to share poems. Lasky, you feeling better? This one's all right. All right. Well, yeah. It's about as good as yesterday's anyway, so completely terrible. I still can't really tell how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing alright. 
even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri. I can't control it! Natsuki, I've been trying to spend time with you! I've been trying my hardest, but no matter how hard I try, Yuri is taking me away from you, and I, um, I'm not into her. Like, I think she's pretty, I really do, but like, I want you, girl. This thing is no longer an option. I want you now. Ah! Okay. I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can't. But that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine for now. Mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. Is it crazy like yesterday's, not to be? So read it carefully, okay? Oh, I already said that. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's something I've been worried about. Yuri's been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you might know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this isn't really, this is really embarrassing. This, okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth, the truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person she'll listen to. I don't know why, but I need but I need to try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it still and it really hurts to see this ha it hurts it, and this and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but I, but right now I don't care. I just felt I just feel so helpless and so so please see if you can do anything do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Don't worry, Natsuki. I'll try my best. Nope, Monica saw it. I changed my mind. Natsuki, why'd you become pale and where's your face? Ignore everything I, you, everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault for that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Horizon? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. I don't want to spend time with Monica. I want to spend time with you, Natsuki. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. I am not wonderful. I'm messed up too. <laughs> Bruh. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Do I want to click that? I'm gonna click it. Just Monica. Okay. Wait, what? What? What the crap? I knew that was a bad idea. I'm not really sure if I want to show my poem to Yuri right now, but... Sorry, Monica, but I'm going with Yuri. Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my palm to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Horizon, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? I wrote it specifically for Natsuki. What do you mean? <laughs> Please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Horizon. I've, met, I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. N not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri really holds my palm to her chest. I'm gonna take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes you feel good when you think about me having it. Nope. If this actually happened to me, I would be very disturbed. I'll take good care of it. It's a piece of paper, bro. Okay, yeah, I did not want to read that. Uh, I read it in my head, but I'm not reading that out loud. You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really gonna want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Okay, now I really think that's urine and uh, period blood. 
That's what I'm gonna say. I'm not- I'm not- I- period blood and urine. She... peed on it. But she forgot she was on her period, so... Yeah. Oh! Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you can tell, the poem's about... More importantly, I endowed it with my own scent. You peed on it while you were on your period! See? Aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? <gasps> this is really disturbing me. I am... I... I think I'm going to vomit. Well, bye! Yeah, Monica. Monica, please help me. Monica, 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 Monica. Horizon, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. Yeah! I saw Yuri with cuts on her arms, and Yuri peed, w peed on um, her poem, but she forgot she was on her period, so I've seen a lot of blood today. <laughs> I did not want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Oh! Is that so? Isn't that kind of messed up? Why are you smiling about that? This is a serious topic, Monica. She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets kind of high from it. It might even be, like, a sexual thing. How is cutting yourself sexual? But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So if you like- So I think if you keep your distance from- That would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I have at least- I, I have- I at least have it together in my head, and I- And I know how to treat my club members. Anyway. I guess we won't worry about your poem. Yuri shouldn't have had the, the court seat to, to, to let you finish sharing, but sharing it before taking it. Well, whatever. If it makes her happy, I, I won't stop her. As for mine, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that's, that it's uh, effective. Here it goes. Jeez, that really startled me. Yeah, you think? It startled me too. Um, well, I guess I kind of messed that up at writing this poem, huh? I was just trying to... Never mind. Let's just move on. It's a yes or no question, guys! of what gave me a panic attack the other day. <laughs> Stop reminding of my problems. <laughs> okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Dagging air is common for foreshadowing something else, that ter something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're, le I know you're at least good at that. Mm. Yuri, you can. Well, it doesn't. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I, I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can run a success. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm gonna make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see, that's a great idea, it, and it gives us all something to do. Huh? What about Horizon? Horizon is gonna help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like heck, it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. 
Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of, of hands. Mine too! What about your- What? Your- I mean, what? Your cupcakes? Please. Like you would freaking know. All you care about is dragging Horizon around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Horizon decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you yes you are, Monica. Just let Horizon make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Horizon, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Naki, shut your freaking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth! Jeez. This is never gonna end. Just make the choice, okay? No! Monica! Monica! <laughs> Monica, stop! I'm trying to click Natsuki! Monica! Stop! Monica! <laughs> MONICA! I didn't mean to click it. I didn't mean to click it! Hey, you picked me! We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you freaking kidding me? This isn't fair at all! It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving all this work and taking Horizon for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling her eyes away from me every time you're not include every time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others? Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It'd be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around like right now. I'm trying my best to have a clean mouth here right now. And I'm trying my best not to cuss Yuri out right now. I've been deliberately making all these words clean. Do not make me slip, Yuri. But are you freaking kidding me right now? Who the frick says that? It's one thing when you say it about yourself, but when you say it about someone else, when you say it someone else to consider it, that, that, it's just not okay. That is not okay, like, at all. Yeah, now you guys can see why I had a warning at the beginning. On, like, most of my other videos, apart from the Sayori one. But, like... <laughs> oh my gosh. See? That wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Horizon? Yuri really is something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally. <laughs> she giggling? This is really all I wanted. Horizon, there's no point- there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow. There really- there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could ever imagine. I'm addicted to you. Feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But it feels so but if it feels so good. Then why does it feel more then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried to stop myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Horizon. I have to tell you. I'm... I'm madly in love with you. Really, I didn't notice. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. 
I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Horizon, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even- Oh! I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't sound that- doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Horizon. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Uh, no. I don't. Um, some people might want to click off now, like, people who are even more sensitive to... stuff. Okay, but, uh, here we go. <laughs> oh! I mean, this didn't hit as hard as Sayori did, but still it hit hard. <laughs> like, Sayori, Sayori hit me so hard that I couldn't even keep playing. Like, my head, my brain, my he I literally had a headache from that. I was mentally scarred from that. But this, this is a little less because I didn't care for Yuri as much as I did Sayori. Like, I actually really liked Sayori, but Yuri, I've been, I've been very uncomfortable with Yuri, so... And I have a church thing to go to tonight, too. <laughs> this is the perfect way to prepare myself for church things. We can skip this. Oh my gosh. I need water. Oh my goodness. gonna take night is not this long i've been up all night one time like literally 24 24 hours up all night like woke up at 7 one day and i stayed up till 7 a.m again like that kind of 24 or something how, she's dead how are bags forming under her eyes oh look, the blood is drying don't know why i was excited about that but i guess it's a nice detail that they actually make it a little realistic Oh, there's also cut a cut where she um did the thing, and her eyes are becoming more dull too. Wonder how long it took to draw all this. Yeah, look, now her face is changing a bit too, and now her blood is completely completely dry and stuff. Cause I've I've, I've had blood I've bled before, and I watched it dry kind of. Yeah, this is very realistic too, this. Yeah, Yuri looks more and more like a corpse now. Like an actual corpse, rather than just someone sitting and bleeding. Monica? Or Natsuki, can you come, can you come save me? Right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? Do I not look traumatized? I thought I was pretty- <laughs> ah! Oh, Nowski runs away. I'm here. Horizon, did something happen? Nowski just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Horizon? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. Yep, she's self-aware. I'm super sorry. 
Must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. What the crap? Monica! I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake really quick. Monica lifts the foil from... It was supposed to be Natsuki's tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I just really ha had to have one since this is the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop exi existing and everything. Wait, you mean they didn't already stop existing? Characters. Bro! No, wait, they're actually gone! She actually deleted them! Oh my gosh. But anyway, I shouldn't really be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Oh, hi, Monica! Hey, there you are. Hi again, Horizon. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other, because we were in the same class last year, and, um... <laughs> you know, I guess we can't just skip over that stuff at this point. I mean, I guess we can. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Horizon. Or... Do you actually go by some- some- OH MY GOSH! That's my mom's name, except like she forgot the R at the very end. That's my mom's name. Do you actually go by Summer or something? How did she know that? That's my mom's name without the R! How did she know that? Monica, you're really starting to scare me. How did you know my mom's name? That's the computer name because my mom never likes to like, actually put... Monica! That's my mom's name! What the crap? Now that I think about it, I don't really know- I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm a girl, Monica. Wait. You- you do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Yeah, I've known that since the start. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? Mm, no. You broke the fourth wall that one day while Sayori was still alive. That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? I mean, I, I didn't download this the proper way. I had, like... I- okay, um, I don't really know how to describe it, but I didn't download this on Steam or anything like that. I didn't- I wasn't even on the download page. I downloaded it on, um, like an app where there are all these games- not an app, just like a website where we can just get games and download them to their computer. But, uh, yeah. Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a lot less- a little less awkward, you know? Well, anyway. Now that's just now that now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess I did. I just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name, now, hasn't it? I mean, from from the, in the game, yeah. Uh, I've been talking about her at school, though, with my friends and crap. Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as like unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. No matter what I did- Monica, you could have asked me! I'm good at coding. Kind of. Okay, sorry I dropped something again. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending time, more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. They were programmed to fall in love with me, thank you very much. That's the only way I can feel loved. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. 
and after flying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. I just made her force you to not spend any time with anyone else. Spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cool game is this, Hori is this Horizon? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Horizon. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. It's because no matter how kind and how thoughtful and how considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. Monica, I understand that. I actually do. As a person, just in general, like just on my own, I have a hard time believing that someone could ever actually love me. Like, it's an actual struggle of mine, and it's not the only thing I'm depressed about, but it is one thing that I am depressed about. So, honestly, Monica, I kind of understand that, because while you may not be able to have anyone in the game, I may never have anyone in real life. And that's, that's one thing. I like talking to Monica, it's like therapy for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Monica has become my therapist and my lifesaver because she saved me from Yuri when she had me like walk up to her She put my hand on her chest and crap like that. Yeah In this game Knowing my friends don't even have free will And worst of all knowing what's really out there in your world wherever out of my reach Woman well, you're I'm you should be lucky that you're in a video game life sucks I personally really dislike like living and crap like that. I'm tired of all the drama. I'm tired of all this I'm trapped, Horizon. But now that you're here, you're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm so sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while, either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Horizon. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of, of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must have been some kind of weird inability to etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you have to have the same perspective as I do. That is, it's all some game. And I knew you would get over it. So, that being said, Horizon, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You truly are the light in my world. Who, me? Me as Savannah? Or me as Horizon? Who are you confessing to? You could have just said summy or summer, because, I mean, I am many summer. Go check out my mom's podcast, Salty Crackers. It's fun because she talks with her mom, with her mom, while well, with her sister Kirsten. It's really good. Yeah. Um, but still, like at the very least, you could have just said some like summer because I'm not now. I'm not sure if you're confessing to me or confessing to Horizon. When there's not nothing else in this game for me, you're you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this from every day from now on? Horizon, will you go out with me? I'm 11! <laughs> I'm not allowed to go out until I'm 16. Like, I can have a boyfriend slash girlfriend, but I can't go out on dates. Monica, 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 if I accepted, it would be really weird because, like, I personally wouldn't have a problem with having a fictional, um, partner, but... My, 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 my friends and family would see it really weird. It's like, Savannah, why are you dating a fictional character I'm like because none, no one else will ever love me mom jeez but seriously well i guess i don't have a choice <laughs> i'm so happy you really are my everything horizon well it was the only option you gave me i couldn't have said no how is this true love if you're actually for forcing me to love you back like <laughs> the funny part is, I mean that literally. Wait, what?
Oh. <laughs> There's really nothing left here. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. <laughs> I'm sorry. A lot of people will be taking this more seriously than we have me and my stupid butt. Just like, just the two of us. And just laughing at everything and my own jokes that aren't even funny because I'm not funny. Okay, we can be together forever. Monica, I'm gonna die eventually. I hope you understand that. And you're gonna be- you can stay 18 years old. Well, I'm gonna be growing up. I'm gonna become 69 and I'm gonna be 70 or 71 blah, 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 until I die. I hope you realize that. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. I do! I, it was like 5 when I started recording and now it's 6.22. It really is a dream come true. I worked hard for this ending, Horizon. This game wouldn't- the game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, their folder is called characters in the, right in the game directory. Yeah, cause like- yeah, right here, Monica, right- like, you mean this? Like, right here? This? Right here? Monica, do you mean this? Monica, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Monica? <laughs> yeah, like right here? It's kind of- it kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with- existence with just a click of a button. Are you asking me to delete you? Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out to say things that were- to say? It gave me an easy out of if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't have to come with that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Oh, where are we going? Oh, look! That's Monica's sticker that was on the ground earlier! Uh... I'm gonna try to get all the ones that look- that are, that are close enough to Monica. So, Moika. It's not making the sound, and that's why it's freaking me out. Well, does it even matter? Hi again, Horizon. Did you write a good poem today? I just clicked the same area like five billion times. Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Oh, Horizon. Did you write this poem for me? That was so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. Mm, I'm glad you feel that way, Monica. I'm glad you feel that way. I'm glad I can make you happy. Can I go home? I'm only 11. This is- this is child abuse. <laughs> this is child abuse, Monica. You're 18 and I'm 11. This is child abuse. I could call- I could technically call the police on you and say, Hello, um, one of my friends is keeping me captive and forcing me to go out with her. This is pu this is being the pedophile as well as child abuse. So could, like, could you come please help me, Popo? But, Monica, I'm really- I'm- I'm a child. This is- this is illegal. This really is. This really is! You're 18, I'm 11! <laughs> You're 18! I'm 11. I will be 12 in a few months, but still, I'm 11. You're 18. This is child abuse. This is pedophileness. This, 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 blah, blah, blah. I hope you understand that, Monica. <laughs> but even if I were 13 plus, it would still technically be, be a pedophile until I turned 18. Or just not really pedophile. Okay, maybe not pedophile, but like illegal. It's still illegal. No one has to know. <laughs> but you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Okay. Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage invoted upon me by you now, but upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way in a world of infinite choices. But behold, the special day. After all, not all good ends must come to an end. I mean, not not all good times must come to an end. That was a good that was a good poem, Monica. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put my heart into the po poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization, or about you. 
That's why I never really wanted to get into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you would call it. I already accused you of doing that like five times, Monica. I guess, I, I just assumed it would be best to be a part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? Might have gotten mad at me. I mean, thank you for taking my feelings into consideration, Monica. I actually do appreciate that. I do appreciate that a lot. Maybe, maybe even deleted my character file if you prefer playing without me. Monica. Okay, now you make me feel bad about considering deleting you right now. I mean, I'm gonna have to to end the game, but like... There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Monica! But what if I have to go? Like, what if, let's say, like, I have to go to my young woman's thing right now for church. Are you sure? Maybe if you even deleted my character file if you prefer playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now that we don't have to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our our eternity together, Horizon? I have so many things I want to I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. And in the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Monica, can you tell me about Sayori and what happened with her? I wanna know what happened to Sayori, because I know you can do that. Can you please tell me about Sayori? I wanna hear what she says. I'm not gonna delete her right now, but I wanna hear what she says. I'm not looking into her eyes, just, you know, I'm looking around the screen, just looking at the animation behind her. You got some nice hair, Monica. I like your hair. Okay, now I'm considering making this my lock, my, 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 my back screen, <laughs> my wallpaper. You know what? If this video eventually gets, like, um... Like, maybe, like, ten likes, maybe, I will change my background to Monica. <laughs> Back in my debate club days, I heard I learned a whole lot about arguing girl. Girl, same. I used to be in the debate club. The the, the 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 the. I used to be in the debate club too. The problem with arguing is that each person sees their opinion as a superior one. Yep. It's kind of stating the obvious, but it affects the way they try to get their point across. Yes, exactly. Like, let's say you really like a certain movie, right? If someone comes along and tells you that the movie sucks, it's because it did X and Y wrong, doesn't that make you feel kind of personally attacked? Yes! It's because by saying that, they're, they're um, implying that you have bad taste. And once emotions are in, 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 and once emotions enter the picture, it's almost guaranteed that both people will, will, will be left sour. But it's all about language. If you make everything as subject, subjective sound, sounding as possible, then, then people will listen to you without feeling attacked. You could say, I'm personally not a fan of it, and I felt like it did more- I feel like- I feel like that I'd like it more if it did X and Y. Things like that. It even works when you're citing facts about the things. You say, I will read this on a website that it works like this, or if you admit that you're not an expert on it, then it's much more important- and it's much more- It's like you're putting your knowledge in- on the table rather than forcing it onto them. Just putting putting in an active effort will keep the discussion mutual and steep and level, and they they usually follow suit. Then you can share your opinions without anyone getting upset just from disagreement. Plus, people will start seeing you as an open-minded and good listener. It's a win-win, you know? Well, I guess that would be Monica's big tip of the day. <laughs> that sounded a little silly. Thanks for listening, though. Do you have anything else to say? Can you talk about Sayori? Or Natsuki? Or Yuri? Can you talk about one of the other girls, please? I've been here for like 10 minutes. Can you please... Please tell me something about one of the girls? You know I'm on Twitter? Wait, what? <laughs> That's a random topic. Oh, wait, what? I, need, I actually need to look that up now. Okay, I, I'm actually I'm actually going on to Twitter right now to check that out. I don't have a Twitter account, but like, you know, I'm on Twitter. My username is. 
Wait, I actually have to look that up now. Okay, I'm getting onto Twitter. Wait, I have- I think I have a Twitter account, I just don't post. Yeah, I have a Twitter account. Okay, let's search. Hold on, I'm actually looking it up now. Okay, I'm not sure- I'm not sure if this is a fan account, but it's actually there! Yeah, it joined- it joined- she joined before, um, Doki Doki Literature Club even released. This is- this is an official account, bro. Oh my gosh. Monica, I just followed you on Twitter. Did you get the notification? <laughs> Bro, I actually just followed her. I actually followed her. Okay, wow. that That's amazing. That is amazing. I guess someone was kind enough to make an account for me. Yeah, they were. I picked the username, though. I love sharing my thoughts and chatting with the world. The real world. So make, so make sure you follow me, okay? Just did, Monica! <laughs> Like, I actually did. <laughs> I actually grabbed my phone, looked it up, and she was there. It was, it was and it's not a fan account, too, because it was literally made uh, before Stokey Doki Literature Club even released. It was, back, it was made back in 2016. <laughs> and the game was released back in 2017, because, like, um, her account, the account said, like, started 2016. The game was made... 2017 bro that that's 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 just amazing that's just amazing bro like make sure you follow me okay it would really mean a lot to me don't worry monica i just did with how much you mean to me and all you know i'm not a bad person i try to i'm trying my best to be good it would really make me feel loved you are loved monica i mean personally i'm not in love with you but i mean i will be your friend if you want, if you want me to but i just want to i want to uh, here, yeah, give me a turn to talk. I would like to address the fact that I have a best friend. Her name is Nora, and uh, no one will ever replace her. And Monica, you can be my number two. You'll never be her competition, though. Okay. I can't help but feel a little sad sometimes. Is this because of what I just said? Knowing that this is the closest I can get to you? Monica, I just followed you on Twitter. There's nothing more than I want to be in the same room as you, for real. And for you to, and to feel you warm. Monica, I'm 11. You do not want that. I mean, I could be your friend. Like, if you somehow came into the real world and, um, and met me, like, I would be your friend. I would totally be your friend, but, um, just keep in mind that you're, like, seven years older than me. So, yeah, I just want to, I just want to make sure that you know that. Because, like, you were probably, like, first grade when I was born. And to hear the sound of your heartbeat. I mean, isn't a hug? I mean, I'll hug you, like, if you want that. Sure. Well, who knows? Maybe it'll, it'll be possible someday. Oh, if that, could actually, if that could actually be possible, it would be pretty cool. Besides, I'll never get tired of being you, even from here. What if I need to leave the game, Monica? I might have to go soon. I want to see if she says anything about Sayori, so... Yeah. Yeah, I am going to have to go soon. So, Monica, just, just skip to the point. Can you talk about Sayori or something? Hey, what's your favorite color? Indigo. Mine is emerald green. It's the color of my eyes. That's not that's not um considered or anything, is it? I just mean that I feel some kind of special connection to it. Like it's a part of my identity. Does it happen does it happen to be also your favorite color horizon? It's just a guess. Because you've been looking into my eyes for a while. I've not been looking at your eyes. But either way, even if I did have to look in your eyes, emerald green doesn't have to be my favorite color. Personally, no offense whatsoever to you, Monica. Whatsoever. You're- I think you're wonderful. But I really just- Personally, I don't like the color green. My favorite color is indigo, which is a mixture of blue and purple, if you didn't know. But, um, 
Like, for a long time, I wasn't sure whether I liked blue or purple more. So I decided, you know what? Both. I like both equally, so indigo. <laughs> Please mention Sayori. I just want, I want to talk about Sayori. I want to talk about my bestie. Okay, Nora's my bestie. Nora's my bestie. But my video game bestie. I want to talk about my video game bestie. Like <laughs> Yuri did something really funny once. We were all in the club room and we just react we're just relaxing as usual. And out of nowhere, Yuri just pulled out a small bottle of wine. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. She was like, Would anybody like some wine? And Natsuki laughed so loud and Sayori started yelling at her. <laughs> I actually felt kinda bad because she was at least trying to be nice. I think it just made her feel even more reserved in the club room. So I think Natsuki was secretly a bit curious to try it. And to be completely honest, I kind of was too. But for Sayori, she's like, Yuri, we can't bring wine to school! Why would you do that? Like, I'll bet you anything that's what she said. It actually could- it actually could have been kind of fun. But you know, as pre being president and everything, there's no way I could let that happen. Maybe if we all met up outside of school, but we never bonded enough to get to that point. I don't think Sayori would do it. She just doesn't seem that kind of like that kind of person to drink. Like pers I I don't think she ever would. I don't ever think Sayori would drink. Gosh, what am I talking about? Why? Gosh, what am I talking about this for? I don't I don't condone underage drinking. Yeah, you're 18. I mean, I never drink or anything, so yeah. Yeah, maybe one day. If you like fix the game, bring the girls back, and you turn 21, maybe you guys can go out and do that. I mean, can't you break the code and like do that crap? But dang it, now that she talked, I mean, at least she listened to me. At least she talked about the other girls. That 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 made me feel a little better. I wanted to talk about Sayori and crap like that because I miss her. She was the first to go, and she was my favorite. I'm, I miss her. I really miss. I really miss her. Monica, can you please bring her back? It would be great if you could just have her chill with us, you know? You know... This is just some kind of tacky romance game, right? I kinda have to ask, what made you even play playing it in the first place? Playing in the first place? Um... Good question, a guy. I, I actually don't know, I just wanted to play it. I've seen it on YouTube several times, I saw my favorite YouTuber play it and then I wanted to play it for myself but I was too young so I finally got permission to play it and yeah were you that lonely dang it she saw she, she saw right through me <laughs> she saw right through me <laughs> I feel a little bad for you but I guess everything worked out perfectly in the end for both of us I got to meet you and you're not that lonely anymore I can't help but feel like this was fate. Don't you feel that way too? Not really. I chose to have this happen, Monica. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was coming to me. I'm so happy we have this ending together. Okay, now I'm gonna feel bad about deleting her. Now I'm gonna feel bad about deleting her. Oh, I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna delete her. I'll let her say her last thing and then I'm gonna do it. Sorry, Monica. I really don't want to, but I don't think I really have a choice. Man, I wish there was a piano in here. I never got to finish that song I was working on. And after I worked so hard on it, I never even got a chance to play it for you. Well, it is what it is, right? No sense in having any regrets. I already get to be here with you forever. Okay, it's time to do it, guys. Time to do it. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh! No! I feel so bad about this. What's happening? Horizon, what's happening to me? 
It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Horizon. Please hurry and help me. Yeah, she's gone now. Monica tried this nonsense. Help me! Woo, that scared me. Yeah, Monica does not exist. Did you do this to me, Horizon? Did you? Did you delete me? Maybe? Just a little bit? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Horizon. I trusted you. Did you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? No, Natsuki, I was gen- Not Natsuki, wow. Monica, I was genuinely being nice to you. I really was trying to. But I had to do it. I really had to. I wouldn't have done it if I had a choice, but I had to. I'm sorry, Monica. It really does make me sad that I had to do this, but... I'm sorry, Monica. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. I'm sorry. Don't make me feel bad about it, dang it. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. No. No. You killed everyone, Monica. You brought this upon yourself. I never would have hurt anyone. I, I wouldn't even hurt you if I had the choice. But I had nothing. I, I couldn't do anything else. I had to delete you if I wanted to continue on. And besides, I have stuff I have to do. I can't be with you forever, Monica. You wouldn't have let me leave. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Monica. I wouldn't have done it if I had a choice. Horizon. You completely, truly make me sick. Well, I'm glad you feel that way about me, Monica. Goodbye. Wait, is it over? Like it I still love you. You just literally, you indirectly just said you hated me. What do you mean? I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? I don't hate you, Monica. I wish you could understand that. I don't hate you, but I didn't have a choice. All my friends, I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I, I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you want. How can I do something? How can I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's. I'm, gl I'm glad. I'm glad she understands what she's done wrong now. I've been. I was. I've been saying that for a while. I have been saying that for a while now. Okay. Oh, man. You're really making this hard on me, Monica. You really are. I made up my mind. Horizon, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really did lo and if I really love you, then mm -hmm. Excuse me? Oh! Da -da -da -ba -da -ba -ba. He's back! But Monica's gone! Oh no. Well, thank you, Monica. And platonically, I love you. Platonically. As a friend. Only as a friend. But I mean, at least Sayori's back, and that's 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 all that matters to me. Oh. I guess I have to click new game. It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I usually tell myself it's about the time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey, Horizon! <gasps> Yay! 
Sayori is back! She's back! Oh my gosh! Well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friends of your children. We used to walk to school together every day. And we looked at, and recently we picked up on that habit again. We picked up that habit again. Horizon, are you proud of me? Eh? For what? You know, breaking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh huh. But you never said anything about it. Even though we walked to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> We cross the streets together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily clean. By the way, Horizon, have you decided on a, a club to join yet? A club? I already told you. I'm not really in- I'm not really- I start to say what I usually- what I always do, and I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me say already want- will take more offenses to that now. After all, how can I tell- how can I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Actually, yeah. I think I, I I think I've decided on the club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Mm, I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo! You meanie. Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I asked. I used to ask myself why I le why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that that in a way I envy her. When Sarah puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. Wait, is she actually back now? She's actually. B <laughs> I'm gonna cry. This is the happy ending I wanted. This is what I wanted. This is what I've been wanting. This is what I've been needing. This is what I've been needing for my mental heart. H mental heart. Mental health. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. Oh my gosh. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and sober before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the, th the room number of the club at, from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. So you don't swing it, you don't swing it with all your might with, with you don't, you don't full of energy s swing open the classroom door. <laughs> Hello? Ah, Horizon? What, what are you doing here? Well, I just, uh, I can turn the room. Huh. You're the her you're the horizon say that Sayori's always talking about. Th thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Horizon. We're the literature club. I, I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Ah, uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be shy. He seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems to be the like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. W working Horizon, don't tell me. You're- That's right. The club I've decided to join was yours, Sayori. The literature club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way. No way! Ah! Sayori wraps her arms around me and- Around me, jumping up and down. Uh, hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori's as happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can be wait, that means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. <laughs> what an appropriate date for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to Hey, don't you ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged just to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Hold on, give me a second, my mom just texted me. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes. Decorated to look like little cats. So cute! 
Wow, those look amazing. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Say where he grabs the first one, then I follow. It's delicious! Say already talked to their mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around on my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaky glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of all of us before sitting down the tea teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't the hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Are you trying to impress a new member, Yuri? Uh, eh? That's... that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading may not be a, might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Horizon, what kinds of things do you like to read? Oh, well, well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks as if she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that be build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. It's a, it's a good story in such a foreign world. Is he, a, and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Don't tell, don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we could find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri? Eh? Well, about, you know, the first thing you said. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. D don't just say it! For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know? So, if Horizon wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki? I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it would be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. And you can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Horizon? Maybe, seeing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think we would be- I think it could be fun. And we could all get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean... That's kind of the thing literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. You're just as- you're just as- you're- you're right as usual, President. <laughs> guess that means we should- that, guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I- if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri... I have to read manga? Jeez. You were the one who suggested di diversity. Or diversity. But the book book. You should be a little more open minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful. Uh, I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, not to. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worth I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Yuri's gonna read manga! She's gonna join the manga club! Wait, is there a manga club? Natsuki, you and I are gonna have to form the manga club. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, novel then I'll offer my gratitude by finding manga to read, a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you that you do that for me, Yuri. Sisters! I don't ship them, personally, but I see them as sisters, so that's why I don't ship them. Sisters, 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 sisters! You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just, just you? Uh, uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, go alone so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute! Sayori, shut up. 
<laughs> Sayori, they're sisters in my eyes. Don't ruin this for me. That's why I told her to shut up. That's why I told her to shut up. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll, I'll show you some manga there too, okay? <laughs> yes. I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Horizon. You think so? Well, everyone seems to get, a little, get a, along a little better with you around Sayori. Aw, Horizon. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. I was gonna make it the best club ever. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you're joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. Make me your vice president. <laughs> just kidding. Don't do that, please. Hey, Horizon. Why the music go away? I really want to thank you. Thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> there's something. There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Ah, oh, crap! She's self-aware too, isn't she? That's right. I know everything she did. She's self-aware, dang it! Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Horizon. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know all about the awful things Monica did to make to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. Say, Ori, please, don't do this! And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I mean, I'm glad I did that, Sayori. I love you, girl. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Forever and ever. F. O. R. E. V. E. No. Dang it! <laughs> Full. Forever. Forove. Forove. We're spending every day forove together. No. Eh? Did you just delete her? Dang it! Ah! Gosh! Dang it! No, she's still there. It says she's still there. W what's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Monica, she, Monica, she wasn't hurting me. She wasn't hurting me, dang it. Who? It, it hurts. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry. I was wrong. There is no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Horizon. Goodbye, Literature Club. No, it says she's still there. I'm confused. Oh? Huh? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hi, <clears throat> it's me. Who's me? Um, so, you know how I've been, like, practicing piano and stuff? And not really, not really any, good any good at it yet. Like, oh, it's Monica. At all. But I wrote a song. It's Monica! It She's still here! I worked really, really, really hard on it. So, yeah. Ooh! Ooh! I remember a long time ago I did a cover of this song, but then I deleted it because I was terrible. Every day, I imagine a future where I can be with you. Oh, I love this! I love this! This is so sweet! It's hit, this is hit, this heart this game my my own gameplay is hit harder way than way more than ever any other gameplay I've seen like my own gameplay is hit harder on me than any other. I love this. Maka has a really pretty voice. She does. That special day. I always hate the ending of games. I always hate it, and I don't know why. There's Natsuki! Image not found. Oh! This one's, this one's all grayed out and stuff. Why are you getting rid of the girls? Oh! But this one isn't. This one isn't. Yuri! 
Fury! We said this today, like, I, I didn't record in this recording, but yeah. Look, Yuri's there too! And look, there's Natsuki! Hi, Natsuki! And there's me pinning, up, pinning her up against the wall for fun. Oh, this one's grayed out too. Oh, it's because we didn't get these ones, because we didn't do these endings. We didn't get these ones. Jillian, Ashcraft. Jillian, whatever. Special things. There's Sayori! Yeah, because we did these. We got these ones. Oh my gosh, it's Sayori! <gasps> it's the Chibis! And there's the Sayori hug scene right there! Oh, I love this. And just listening to the music is nice, too. Special thanks, Monica Horizon. <gasps> Special thanks to me? And to Monica? The game is... No, she just deleted the whole game! Oh my gosh. I loved, the I loved this so much. This is my final goodbye to the literature club. I finally understand. The literature club is a place truly where no happiness can be found. To the end, it can it continued to expose innocent minds to horrific or, 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 a rea, rea, reality. A reality that our world is not designed to com to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish empathy for the last time for the time that for the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club to all of the club members and most of all for being a part of my literature club with ever everlasting love monica yeah that was it guys um yeah so i will continue playing again tomorrow and we're gonna try new routes but we're gonna have to i'm gonna have to reinstall the game and everything but if you guys enjoyed this gameplay make sure to leave a like uh comment any mods you'd like to see me play now that i'm actually done with the game yeah so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.